Here we see one day old tree swallow nestlings. They're tiny and naked except for some sparse down that doesn't really insulate at all. Their eyes are completely closed and they can only wiggle about, not walk. They're completely dependent on adults for food and for most warmth. But they can raise their heads and beg for food. They eat, digest, burn energy to live and grow. They defecate and they sleep. And that's about it for one day olds. Now the young tree swallows are three days old. They're being brooded by their mother since they don't yet generate enough heat themselves to keep warm. When the male comes in to feed, in a minute, you can clearly see they've gotten larger in just two days and their mouths open wider. Did you see the male just grab a fecal sac? The young don't have feathers yet, but you should see dark patterns in their otherwise pink skin. These are feather tracks where groups of feather follicles are developing. The guys are six days old now, and not so little anymore. They spilled right out of the nest cup. Their bodies look mostly gray as the feather follicles enlarge under their skin. You can see feather tracks most clearly in the one young at the top center. This little nestling hatched one day later than the others and is only five days old. So you can see what a difference one single day can make in terms of growth. We can't really see them here, but their eyes are just beginning to open into little slits. And look how large their wings are becoming. So as the afternoon sun streams in through the entrance hole, these young rest in its warmth, letting the energy from the food their parents brought fuel more growth. Now the nestlings are nine days old. They've become all gray as their feathers have erupted. And as they beg just then, did you see what great targets those orange mouths rimmed with yellow flanges made? And did you happen to notice their eyes opened as they begged? And check the size of those wings. They're getting larger and larger, aren't they? With huge paddle-shaped hands. We want to point out that in this rather small box, one or more young sometimes get covered up by their nestmates. And you can see one little head in the center, its mouth open gasping from possible overheating from the bodies piled on it. Another nestling at the bottom right is preening itself. They all do this a lot as their feathers erupt. We haven't seen either adult during these last two clips, have we? Since the young no longer need brooding and need much more total food, their parents spend most of their time out getting it. The youngsters below the male in the entrance hole are 12 days old. The motion as the male leaves triggers around a begging in the young, and their eyes open wide as they beg. You'll notice from time to time how their dark gray heads and upper bodies contrast with their white throats. And note also that this juvenile plumage has no blue and no iridescence. These 12 day olds are actually as heavy now as their parents, perhaps even heavier. What a change in only 12 days. But this box is really getting crowded. You can see lots of jostling for space and position. And overheating is a potential risk. And would be even more so if this box was in a warm climate. Even here in Quebec, some of the nestlings are opening their mouths, struggling to dissipate heat caused by a hot day and packed bodies. We know it's difficult to see with the crowding, but the erupting wing and tail feathers look like little paintbrushes. And this is typical of 12-day-old tree swallow nestlings. And in only six to 10 more days, 
these little guys will be flying.